Hi guys, Vanita here. I am back to painting. I've been away for a minute, but I'm back now. And if you remember, I had done in my last video, my last painting video, I did the, the clear base um, coat with the waterborne paint. I did this um, clear base primer on the Anna Sculpt. So I also have already applied one layer of the flesh. Um, I did the medium ethnic flesh and I added two drops of the flow medium. I also added two drops of the slow dry and I did water in this little pipette and I added water up to here. So today I am going to be doing the same method or the same recipe using the burnt sienna. This one here. Okay. So you give it a good shake like we always do. And I'm going to do four drops. One, two, three, four. Okay. I'm going to do two drops of the flow medium. One, two. And then two drops of the slow dry. One, two. Okay. And then I'm going to take my water and I'm going to add that water in there. So again, I filled the water up to this point here. Then I'm going to get my brush and I'm going to stir and mix it all around. And I don't know what's going to happen. We're going to find out together. So I figured I wanted to add a little more color to her and I want it to have a little bit more red and this one appeared to have a little more red to that brownish color here. And I applied the paint with a cosmetic wedge and we're gonna do the same thing today. All right, I've got my cosmetic wedge here And what I did was I just put it on there, a little bit there, just like that. Then I took the kit and we're going to start in the back of the head, just like we always do. And I just wiped it on just like that. doesn't appear to be doing too much. Let's see. If I do it with a brush, what will happen? Because this time it's not going on like it went on before. Let's try something different. Let's put it on with the brush and then use the sponge and see if that does anything. All right, it appears to be beading like the other paint. Hmm. Wipe it in and see if it gets in there. It doesn't look like it's going, like it's changing much here, but I'm sure it's doing something. Hmm. 
Okay, I think I'm gonna try this like I do with the Ultimate Fusion paint and see what that does. So with that, I just usually put it on. Just like that. It's okay if it's doing that. Let's see if it does the same exact thing. All right, and I'm gonna take a kabuki brush and pounce it and see what happens. Okay, I like that better. And I do see a difference. It is adhering. So maybe that's what we will do. If it likes that better. We'll go with that. My kabuki brush is brand new, so it's doing that. All right. So I do see a difference. All right, let's go ahead and do the front of her face here. In the same way, we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to apply from the point that we did before. This time, I am going to avoid her lips. I am going to get her ears. And all around. But I am going to avoid her lips this time. We'll leave those blank. All right, and then we'll do this again. Carefully around the lips, because I want to not add that color to that. And there we go. Make sure you catch any runs. See, we got some runs back here. We want to not have that happen. Okay. Get under that chin. Try to make sure it's evenly on there. And that looks pretty good. I am gonna just take my fan brush and crease out these, or swipe, sweep out these creases here on her eyes and her nose. Cause we don't wanna leave paint behind. And we want everything to be nice and smooth. Get inside those ears good. Behind the ears. Okay. Not bad. And then we'll sit her over here to dry and we'll do one limb each so this leg here I did the same thing on her head um, with the medium ethnic flesh first this here and let's compare you do see a distinct difference there the leg is definitely lighter 
So we are going to now add this same color to her leg and we're going to avoid the soles of her feet. Just like we always do. And we're doing it upside down for that reason. And I'm hoping that this works the same way. We're gonna see. As I've been playing with it and playing with textures and things like that, we're gonna see if this works out for us or not. And if not, that's okay. That's why we're trying it. To see what's gonna work and what's not gonna work. All right, so we applied. Now we're gonna pounce that off and hopefully it will work the same way. It's always fun when you can try different things and different methods. And I have done a lot of different ones or tried different ones. Some things work, some things don't work. And if it doesn't work the way that you think it should work, try it again. And it'll be okay. That actually looks pretty good. looks pretty good now we're just gonna take our fan brush and get those creases good that looks pretty good let's see yeah it's pretty close all right we'll put that on our dry rack and we'll try the hand and the arm all right so again we see the difference here going to add this one. I'm going to stir it first. So we have to keep stirring this one. If they get separated or whatever. So we stir it up. And again, we're going to avoid the palms. Don't want this color on the palm of the hands. Sorry about that, guys. I'm gonna really try hard to come on here every time I paint, but sometimes I just, sometimes I get started and then I forget, oh yeah, turn on the camera so you can record. So I will have to try to get better at that. All right. And we're pouncing. Oop. And we'll see if this works. All right. Let me get these creases. don't want this stuff laying behind okay and there's the arm okay 
I'm going to go and do the other limbs and then I will be back with another video soon. Again, if this is your first time watching, please don't forget to subscribe. Hit that like button so you can see more videos. Thanks for watching.